what does what does Bezov have left in his locker? What's what's the ship he's building, working on to catch up with Musk? Right. So there's this really fascinating race between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. They both want to build preeminent space transportation companies, and they both see the path to doing that with these large orbital reusable rockets. The big difference is that Musk has actually done it, right? The Falcon 9 has now flown more than 100 times, and they've learned how to land it and reuse it and, and put human missions on top of that. And Bezos has never flown, you know, not let alone people, even a gram of material into orbit. So Blue Origin is behind. They are working on a large orbital rocket. They're working on larger rocket engines and other projects. But you know, they're, they're a good five to 10 years behind SpaceX, and SpaceX has a larger workforce. And so it's, it's every year actually the gap between the two companies is getting larger. What did you make of some of the trash talk between these rival organizations and the legal action that Bezos has initiated? Is it, is it really damaging? I mean, could, could we have a situation where they're expending really substantial amounts of energy, uh, capital, money, uh, and time on a, on a legal showdown that actually is, that feeds into that narrative that this is two massive alpha males headbutting each other? Yeah. So you're referring to the um, the issue of the, the human lander. So NASA and its, its international allies, you know, want to go back to the moon, right? And so they needed to go to the commercial industry and ask someone to build them a lunar lander to go down to the surface. And Blue Origin was a bidder for this. SpaceX was a bidder and SpaceX won. Um, and their bid was far less expensive and they had much more experience, you know, working in, in this kind of environment. Um, Blue Origin is sued and it's held up that process for five months. And so, yes, it has hurt Blue Origin's brand. It certainly hurt it within the space community. There's a lot of people who are upset that the, the, the Apollo or the Artemis program to the moon has basically been put on hold for almost half a year. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fascinating, totally gripping. And as we've discovered today, uh, really very pictorial and beautiful even to watch. Uh, just one thing before we go, Eric. Why the bell? What's happening? Why do they ring the bell as they, as they head onto the gantry? It's a tradition going back to the Mercury program and, it's, and, and, and nautic, nautical tradition. You know, you're sort of ringing the bell like you're, you know, you're going to see, in this case, you're, you're going to space.